Hello everyone, uh, in this video series we're gonna go over uh, alcohol oxidations and esterification reaction. So first of all, let's get started with recognizing what type of alcohol classes do we have. So we have here primary, secondary and tertiary. We're just gonna look at them and try to figure out what's the difference between them. So if you see over here ethanol, it is made from ethane, right? When you add, when you replace one hydrogen with OH, it becomes ethanol. So all of the alcohols have OH group, as you see attached to them. So now when you look at the OH group, you know that it is alcohol. You look the carbon that is next by, which is this carbon here, and it has two hydrogens to it attached to it directly attached to him so this make him a primary alcohol if you have two or more hydrogens two or more hydrogens you have primary alcohol so if you look at this guy the same here we got two it's propanol propan one all and then this one is two methyl propan one all so on the second so you always start numbering from the carbon that is attached to OH. So one, two, three. It will be two methyl and propan one O because one is where the OH is located. And then we're gonna look at the secondary one. As if, as you see, we have one, two, three carbons. On the second carbon, you have OH attached to it. And as you see, this second carbon that is OH attached has a directly one hydrogen attached to it. So that's why it is secondary. So when you have one hydrogen, it is secondary. We also denote them with the degree signs. So primary, you, you're going to say one degree. And then for secondary, you have two degree. And then tertiary is the ter three degree. And let's look at the tertiary one. So you got here one two three and then so it becomes two methyl two methyl and propan two all because on a second carbon you have oh and this guy has no hydrogen attached to him directly attached to him so that's why he is tertiary so if the zero hydrogens if you have zero hydrogen if you have one hydrogen the secondary and primary so we're going to take a look at this again. So primary ones, you have carbon and two hydrogens attached to them. And for secondary, you have only one hydrogen to this carbon. And then on the tertiary, you have no hydrogen. So that's why it is tertiary. So now in the next slide, we will understand why we learned them. So. We already talked with you in the redox, redox that oxidation is addition, addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen. And reduction is the opposite, removal of oxygen and ox addition of hydrogen. So once you look at this alkane, when we oxidize this, Look at what happens. We added OH group here. So now I'm just going to picture it to you. So C was here like this. This is the expanded form, right? And then in between here, I added one oxygen. And I, I made it like this. Okay. So OH. So this is oxidized. Now it is alcohol because it has OH group. And it is primary because this carbon has two hydrogens. See this carbon has two hydrogens attached to it, one and two. So it is primary. And then now we're going to oxidize it one more time. So let's oxidize this. See what's going to happen here. So you see this, uh, okay, 
the other hydrogen is here right so I'm gonna this time I'm gonna remove hydrogen for oxidation right I added oxygen first time so now I'm gonna remove hydrogens in the next step so this hydrogen is gonna be out and this hydrogen will be out and this is the way it looks now so H C and then C so now I have this hydrogen in the bottom left I have this oxygen here right those these two hydrogens are out but I broke these two bonds you see and I'm gonna make a double bond like this so carbon still has four bonds attached to him oxygen had two bonds before so you had two bonds on oxygen now it still has two bonds and this guy is aldehyde aldehyde okay and then we're gonna oxidize it one more time and I'm gonna oxidize this one more time I'm gonna add oxygen in between carbon and hydrogen here so look at the product I have so this I can just write it like this and this product is carboxylic acid silic acid so as you see I went from alkane to alcohol it's written here okay I went to primary alcohol and then from primary alcohol I oxidized one more time I went to aldehyde you see aldehyde is defined by this alcohol are defined by this and then carboxylic acid is the next step after aldehyde is defined by this functional group okay so primary alcohol primary alcohol alcohol so, so primary alcohol gave you aldehyde now let's look at the other one examples so we're still continue uh, with the primary and I'm going to show in the same page what happens with the secondary so as you see we notice OH we know that it is alcohol and then we look nearby carbon which is this guy and we see two hydrogens and we even see the third one in here too okay so that means I said two or more uh, you can have maximum three in general so it becomes primary alcohol primary alcohol and you know that primary alcohol will give you aldehyde in the next step of oxidation and this is the way it happens so you know that I'm gonna remove two hydrogens you see over here when I made aldehyde aldehyde from alcohol I removed two hydrogens so now I will remove those two hydrogens again and they showed it with uh, blue hydrogen sign so this hydrogen and this hydrogen they're gonna go out and now you have two hydrogens in here attached to carbon and then you made a double bond and by this one you know that it is aldehyde and the name of this is gonna be methanol you see we had CH4 it was methane right methane and this is coming from the meth root now when you have when you have aldehyde it becomes meth uh, no okay methanol it's the ending this is the ending you have for aldehydes for alcohols we were saying so this guy is alkane it is ethane two carbons and now you have OH becomes ethanol and this is the ending for alcohol so now look at the ethanol 
ethanol we see OH we know that it is uh, alcohol and we're gonna check this carbon it has two hydrogens so it is uh, primary alcohol and then we're gonna oxidize one more time we will remove this hydrogens and then we're gonna make our double bond and there you go another aldehyde and it is called ethanol because two carbons eth and then anal ethanol this is the aldehyde and then once you look at this guy we have one two three carbons and then oh it is called propanol or can be written propan 2 o propane 2 o so this one is secondary as you see because oh group is attached to carbon which has only one hydrogen connection directly so now when you oxidize this look at here once i remove this hydrogen direct connection i make a double bond now you see over here i have a different product and this guy the class of this is ketone so ketones were the generic form of ketone is written like this the r are denoting this function the carbon groups it could be c2h5 and then co and c2h5 so but they are not hydrogens okay but aldehyde is the one that is written like this r c o h so this could be anything for the carbons but this side you had a, you gotta have one hydrogen here and this is aldehyde and this ketone because you have one two three carbons here the root is prop and then it's gonna be propanon because it is ketone okay so we learned the naming of ketone we have the naming of aldehydes we also know the name of alcohols which is and ends with ol okay so now if you look at the tertiary carbon because there is no hydrogens attached to him you see there is none i can't oxidize this because i need to lose two hydrogens right for oxidation there is no hydrogen for me to lose so i cannot oxidize this so no oxidation product will happen okay so now that you have this we know that from primary alcohol we make aldehyde and secondary alcohol we made ketone and tertiary alcohol like this are, are all oxidation reactions i put them in the bracket o denoting oxidation so tertiary alcohol has no product no product so these are the practices i'm gonna do a few of them quickly for you so ethanol is given above i'm not gonna write this and for this one i can do it so ch3 and then you got ch and ch3 and then one more ch2 and oh is the open form of this so i've written it like this and now i'm gonna oxidize this and this will look like ch3 ch ch3 c o h okay and you can name this it is uh, so one carbon second carbon and third carbon longest chain so two methyl propanol okay and then i'm gonna do uh one more time the the last one i'm gonna do the line diagram for this so i got one two three four and five carbons and on the third one i got oh and the fourth one i got ch3 so 
so this is the one I have and I'm gonna oxidize this this is the way it looks guys I don't even have to write this and this is like this okay and then as you see we have here secondary alcohol it gave me ketone and the name of this guy is gonna be because I got I'm gonna start counting one two three four five but I I can't do it this way so I'm gonna because the branch will fall on a higher number I'm gonna do it from here because I want to decrease the number of the branch it becomes two material then the three own like this penton three own okay and now you can write the other ones yourself too so you know that this is secondary alcohol secondary alcohol so this will give you ketone and then for example this one is a primary so it gives you aldehyde we can do the line diagram of this one quickly it's just like this so you know that we don't write hydrogens in line diagram so it stays like this and the name of this is uh, 2-methyl 2-methyl propanol okay and this is primary alcohol you get aldehyde again primary alcohol you get aldehyde again this is secondary this is primary and this is primary too these are all easy ones so i'm just gonna do this one last so you got one two three four carbons so four carbons and then on the second carbon i will do like this this is the initial product and once you oxidize this it looks it looks like this okay and you can name this guy too so first carbon second carbon third and fourth and it would be two methyl and butanol like this okay so once we're done with the oxidation of alcohols we're gonna do esterification esterification is a reversible reaction we already covered reversible in equilibrium a reversible reaction that occurs when carboxylic acid and an alcohol so carboxylic acid is the condensed form uh, definition is written like this R C O H. you write it like R C O H. an alcohol we just generally write instead of ROH we just write ROH are heated in the presence of catalyst and normally concentrated sulfuric acid so you need to have acidic environment here Carboxylic acid plus alcohol gives you ester and a water. And as you see here, the OH from here and the H of this guy combine and they give you water. And the rest you connect. So you connect this with this. We got propanoic acid. And so C, 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 O, H. And then we're gonna add methanol plus methanol. Methanol is written like this. So you add them together in a sulfuric acid. You create acidic environment. We did it in a lot too. In our previous lab. So this the product needs to give you ester ester and water right so let's get the water first so if we get the water first we're gonna do it like this we're gonna 
grab we're gonna grab uh, hydrogen from here and then OH from this side or you can do it other way too you grab OH from this side and then hydrogen from this side there's two hydrogens and one oxygen so you get your water so now you got your water now let's look at the second product second product as you see I have this chunk right and then I also have this chunk so what I do I connect them you see I broke this bond and I broke this bond wherever they got broken I'm gonna connect them. so I got one two three carbon right let's write those one two three carbons and then there is a car carbon with oxygen double bond and then I'm gonna write I'm just gonna connect it from here which is gonna be from C C actually sorry from O and C it's like this and then I will just bring their hydrogens back and as you see now I got the ester ester the generic form of ester is written like this r c o r okay so r is this part and then the other r is this part and everything else is the same so the name of this guy is gonna be like this because you have to one oxygen you have this one attached it's coming from this is methanol methanol and this is pro because you got three carbons it's propanoic acid so you have we this is the definition for acids propanoic acid you got three carbons and then methanol because we've got one carbon it is methanol they combine together it becomes methyl methyl because it is attachment this is attachment methyl because it is attached to this oxygen which has single bonds both sides and then it becomes propanoate Okay, so you have methyl propanoate, and that is because of the ester. Okay, so now let's practice, and you can read this part. Anoate is suffix for esters, prop is the main chain of the carboxylic acid, and then there is a methyl. Okay, so now let's do this one. I'm gonna just write the condensed form of this so I get the product of water and then look at here so I got the H from here and OH from this guy right so now this is the way it looks so CH3CO and then OC2H5 and if you want I can write the expanded form took the H from here, H from here, and then OH from the here. And now the product in the condensed form, I'm going to write it backwards. So you know that reversible, they need to go backwards. They forgot to put it. So this product would be looking like this. Okay, we forgot one H. So and plus water. The name of this guy is gonna be because this group is attachment, 
and once you look at this one uh, I'm just gonna write this one quickly in the this form so COO CH3 plus water so now we're gonna write down the names of this guys so we know that uh, the one we started with is ethanoic ethanoic acid the reason is because the root is ethan and we know that it means there are two carbons right so we got one carbon and second carbon and then the name of this guy is going to be because we got two carbons it's going to be ethanol and when they combine together because this this is going to be our branch the part that is coming from alcohol it would be ethyl ethyl and it, the root is going to be ethan o8 ethanoat okay so ethyl ethanoat and then for this guy the product is like this and the name is good again is ethanoic acid because we got two carbons and this is one carbon only so it's going to be methanol and the ester because methanol is making the branch it's going to be methyl methyl and no eight because this is the part coming from carboxylic acid and i can give you another one with line diagram a bit complicated one for example we can have a carboxylic acid like this and then let's say we have alcohol which is looking like this and this is a secondary alcohol you create acidic environment and we know that one of the products is water and the other one is going to be let's say you take OH from here and H from here the product is going to be looking like this okay so this is the final product don't worry about the naming of it because it's pretty complicated for your stage you can do it at university thank you very much